Hello guys, in this video I want to ask you, what do you want to know about creating Laravel APIs? And this is the first teaser of my upcoming new course, which I'm creating now, already half prepared, so it should be released probably next week. But it's still time to ask you what questions do you have about APIs and maybe some topic I've missed or maybe something I should emphasize. So this is my outline. I'm using Teachable Platform. This is all drafts, but these are the topics and I will run through them briefly. And please, in the comments, if you are interested in the course, shoot in the comments what maybe you are interested in, some of your comments, or use my email to ask directly. And also, at the end of this video, I will give you a link to subscribe to email list and that email list will get the first notification when the course is released and also probably most important to you discount code for 50% discount usually I price on all my courses uh, at $19 per course but for the email subscribers it will be minus 50% which is 950 which is cheap anyway so uh, let's get to what I have inside this course. So first we will take a look how basically API works, how to get the data from the API or via API. So how to create controllers and return the data, both for the list of data and single controller and what should be the headers for the API. And mostly throughout this course, I will be using Postman to make the calls to the API, but also one of the lesson will be about Vue.js, so examples how to call that API from the Vue.js client. But this course won't be about Vue.js, it will be just mentioned in a few lessons. So first section is about getting the data from the API. And second section is posting the data to the API. So forms, request, posting, validation, API file upload, also course middleware in Laravel, which is quite important. And the whole section about posting the data, updating the data, managing the data. Then third section, which probably is the most confusing from what I see online. People are totally mixed about various authentication engines, drivers, passport, sanctum and all of that. So I will try to share my opinion, which is better in what case. Not only about the syntax on how it works and how to make it work, but also why you should use one or another. And also we will talk about authorization, so not only authentication of a user, but also what user has which access. And finally, some bits and pieces, various things, various topics. So on this list, probably you should add something you should have a question about. So documentation for the APIs are really important, versioning APIs. So for example, you created first version, but then you grew up your business and you need to have version 2, how to handle that. Then throttling is some security stuff, so how can you limit, for example, 100 API calls per minute per user or for all application or for logged in users. There are various ways to do that. And finally, I want to dig deeper into Postman. Both learn about that myself. I'm not a power user of the Postman, but I want to become better at that. And while learning that, I will also teach you how to do that with some various tips. So what did I miss? What do you want to hear more about API or within those topics? What are the questions that you actually have? Some of them I have from my YouTube channel from other videos because I'm reading all your comments and trying to get the impression on what are the most painful points. But if you have something to add, please do that in the comment. And now you can subscribe to the email list. The link is on the screen and also will be in the description. Participating in that list will give you two benefits. First, you will be the first to know about that course when it's released, probably next week. And also, bigger benefit for you probably is 50% discount. That's it for now. See you in other videos and in my courses.